there's loads of things that have happened where people go, oh, that's that's weird. That that goes to show that we've been around before. Or no, it doesn't. There's none. That, I have no evidence for that. Of well, I, I told you that time when it happened to me when I was younger. Go on. Your life flashed before your eyes. Well, it wasn't like a flashback, but it was close. It's the next next thing next to flashbacks. It was um, <laughs> I was having a bath, right, and uh, my mum had like run the bath and that, and uh, she said, "Is that is that too warm?" And I said something like, "No, it's it's all right. This it's a lot better than when I used to have a have a bath in that wooden bath in front of the fire." <laughs> okay. And she was like, "What?" And I said, "You know, well, it happened years ago." <laughs> and she was a bit like, "Oh," and I I can't remember that now, but she talks about it and. You know, that just goes to show that- cos I- I was at an age when I wouldn't have known about wooden baths years ago in front of fires. No, but you talk rubbish now. So you, all you were doing, you were talking rubbish from an early age. Where's the problem? No, but you can only talk rubbish if you're aware of knowledge. <laughs> well, you- I didn't know about wooden baths, so you why would I have invented that? But Carl, that? we've only got your mother's word on this and she thought you might one day be a doctor. Yeah. So- She put a rock with a feather on it to keep a parrot company. <laughs> <laughs> Lest we forget. Yeah, but I'm just just saying. Well, it's all bollocks. Um, so have you researched this? You've tried to find out when little Karl Mark won and his wooden bath when he was. No, around? I don't want to go there because that's when you start digging out all sorts. It's of It's rubbish. Trouble, isn't it? It's rubbish. No, it's, it's not rubbish. Well, this is rubbish. What sort of stuff? There's might you no scientific evidence. No, for just like I've said about family trees and that. Don't don't be looking at them because you're you're only going to find stuff you don't really want to know about. It's the same as that, isn't it? Leave it. Let it be. Do you know what I mean? If if you if your granddad was Einstein, you'd know about it because your family would be shouting about it. If he was a badden, you go oh, keep that quiet. So right. don't look at family trees, and it's the same. Don't be looking back in your past lives. <laughs> There's no God past knows lives. What you've been up to. Well, Carl in the wooden bath. Proof. If Carl proof Pilkington uh, live on air talking shit again. There was one. Um, Here we go. There was one about a woman whose yeah. husband died, and she had him cremated. And made uh, made like a little egg timer out of him, right. and she said I did that so it can still help around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be true. That might be a joke. <laughs> That's quite sweet. That no, might be that true. Is a true story again. It was all. No, right. not again, because the ones I just told weren't. Nor is the boiling the brains in a bag curry microwave <laughs> head story true. Yeah, they're too they're too convenient. Will they... you be buried or cremated? What? Will you be buried or cremated? I don't know. Uh, by uh, cremated. Um, there was a thing on about Dracula. <laughs> right. <laughs> what Dracula? And I found a flaw in it. Go on. Uh, not not the fact that he's the living dead and is no nope. drinks blood to stay alive and he doesn't reflect. And he can into mirrors. A bat. Well, and you can go on. The mirror thing. You can't look in mirrors. Can he? Well, he can look in mirrors, but he can't see himself in a mirror. Yeah. Right, that still doesn't work. Go okay, on. Go on. It doesn't work at all, Carl. It doesn't work okay. at all. Anyway. Well, centre parting's always really neat. His centre parting's always really <laughs> How neat. How does he do it if he can't look in the mirror? <laughs> B- blood on the floor or something it was called. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I love the floor in the Dracula film is that his centre parting's too neat. How does he do it without a mirror? Ah, oh. was it a documentary about Dracula? No, yeah. it was the real Dracula. Called... The real Dracula. The... <laughs> yeah, the real yeah. Dracula. The it's just a film. It had blood on the floor or something. It's called. Yeah, it's yeah. from 1970. Yeah, right. But you, you say that and watch that. You know there aren't yeah, really vampires that, in that yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. But it still annoys you that his centre part was too neat. Well, if you're gonna do it. Do you know what I mean? I'd like to see him with a fringe, sort of pushed forward, Ooh. and maybe a hood up. All right, come to suck your blood on that. All right. Uh, yeah, just bits of tissue paper all over his face yeah. where oh, he's cut himself oh, shaving. Oh, I can't see. Bloody mirrors <laughs> annoying me now, isn't it? Yeah. I'd love to see that. A little mank drac. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, that, that might be a film that we do in uh, our movie. Mancula. Thing, just, just getting onto that. Mancula. Count Mancula. <laughs> Alright. You got any rave? You got any rave music? Huh? Right? <laughs> uh? Johnny Oasis or that? Right? That'd be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> he came from Manchester. Please welcome Mancula. Alright? <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? His hair's a mess. Well, I can't see a mirror, can I? <laughs> you saw something about the Bermuda Triangle, didn't you? That yeah, when I talked about ghosts, you sort of just, uh, because you don't believe in it. Mm. Well, you, I think it's because you're scared of it, to be honest, and you can't admit to, to understanding it and sure. actually believing in it. Sure. Thing on last night, Steve. Yes. Bermuda Triangle. Oh, yeah. Do you know much about that? Um, mainly the, uh, song yeah. by, what was his name? 
What's his name? Um, Bermuda Triangle, Triangle where people no, disappear. No, Bermuda no, Triangle. What's his name? No, no. Barry, Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. Yeah. Are you familiar with the lyrics? Bermuda Triangle where people disappear. Bermuda Triangle don't go near. Yeah. I shouldn't really make a joke out of it. No, you're right. Go on. But um, what it is. Right, there's a program saying what it what it's about. Do you, I mean, what do you know about it? Uh, as I say, mainly from what Barry's told me, but uh, certainly planes and various boats have gone missing within the Bermuda Triangle. Planes. Yeah. Yep. But obviously that documentary didn't explore. He, it. He, he learned a lot about that. For that, I, I learned a lot about American history through "We Didn't Start the Fire" by Billy Joel. Again, most so. of my knowledge of um, the uh, sort of you know, Tsarist Russia comes from uh, Rasputin, Rasputin by um, Boney M. Well, yeah, he was the lover of the Russian Queen. They put you know, poison into his wine. Yeah. Yeah. They shot him till he was dead. Yeah. Which is, you know, go on. Right, well, this, oh, those right. Russians. Sort of a uh, bit of a bit of an earthquake in the sea. Sure. Let's out methane gas. Okay. Yeah. And apparently, if methane gas, if you were swimming out in the sea, yeah, and there was like a, an earthquake and some methane came out, yeah. you can't swim in it. You just sink. Okay. Even if you're a good swimmer. What What, what happens if you're, you're two lads from your school? And they were yeah. That, that that's that's a that's like a buoy. So you can see them a mile off, no, no, and no. their webbed hands would get them into shore. Because they did actually say, even if you're wearing a life jacket, if if the water's full of methane, right, you methane, just sink. You just sink. So what it's saying is, boats have gone across the sea, mm. got a load of methane in the sea, and the boat just sinks. Right. What about the planes? Is it then sort of planes with little sort of floaty things? Could on? be. <laughs> that's that. That be the sort they've landed in the sea. Right. And methane's coming. Well, out. sorry, Carl. What did the documentary say? Not, not I imagine. Yeah, your hypothesis might be. Yeah. Working. What no, did they, they say? The documentary didn't cover they, that bit. They didn't, didn't do cover the planes. Plane. They didn't do the planes. Something else they said about it though. Go on. Loch Ness, mm -hmm. the monster. Yep. Sure. Probably doesn't exist. Okay. What oh. it is? Interesting. Hold on. Interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. That, what they thought it the, not this probably didn't exist. Curious viewpoint. Hold on. What, uh, what proof have they got for that, Carl? How can they go around saying stupid things like that? It's methane. Right. Again, in Loch Ness. And people have seen, um, what's the, what's the lake it's in? Loch Ness. Loch Ness. Yeah. Um. It being the Loch Ness monster. Yeah. yeah. That's so where it lives. That's how it finds its way home. That's certainly the learn. clue. Yeah. If, <laughs> yeah, if you get again, Carl, yeah. that's the clue. Yeah, if you go, and it's, the, and if it's out uh, wandering, it goes, excuse me, uh, would you know where, uh, I'm being the Loch Ness monster, where, where would I be going? <laughs> oh, you'd be going to the Loch Ness if that's your home. It's a way over there, you so big anyway, monster, you. So the bubbles from the sure. methane. Mm. bubble up out of the water yeah. people yeah. think oh god it's a monster's head but it's not it's just water sort of shooting up because of the bubbles well that's two of the great mysteries of the universe solved by mm -hmm. Carl P on a, on a Saturday afternoon that is fantastic yeah. so that makes me that makes me think a lot of things so you know when mediums are sort of like going oh I've got something coming through mm. do you think they are uh, exhaling a lot of methane gas and thus thus making them not think straight do you think everything's down to methane gas? Do you think that all the mysteries of the universe are down to methane gas, Carl? What did it say in the documentary you saw? About what? What was the budgie happy? We know that budgie was sad. Was it Was it in a room? Because they used to take canaries down the mines, didn't they? They used to take canaries down the mines, they'd smell the methane, and then the budgie would be happy. I'm not going to teach you anymore. Play record. Absolutely, as always. Peter. Uh, oh, excuse me, and don't don't be alarmed. I I look quite frightening, but I'm merely a, a nice monster. I seem to have lost my way home. Uh, could you direct me in the right direction? Ah, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, Carpel. Hi. Um, what's your name? W why do you need to know my name? Well, it might help me to find out where you come from. Oh, my name's the Loch Ness monster. Okay, all right. Give me a second. Um, what was your name again? Loch Ness monster. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> when you came in, you're all over me. Like a rash. <laughs> Being nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> Gets towards the end. Yeah. It's just that the death thing, right? Yeah. There was an argument on there about huh? do you know that Twilight Zone or whatever it was, Tales of the Unexpected? Oh yeah. Where the woman got buried alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were saying how like years ago, um, they bury people thinking they're dead. Yeah. And they've they've recently like dug coffins up and then the people who were in the coffin weren't dead, they might have just been like in some sort of deep sleep or Catatonic. whatever. And they've, they've lifted the lid off yeah. and there's scratch marks yeah. on the thing. Yeah. And that's pretty scary. That makes you think, I mean I hope they check these days. See, do, 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 I don't know where, I, I, I thought you'd sort of learnt a little bit Carl, what is a, an interesting fact and what might just be a mentalist online.
Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Do you know what point we're making here? What? Why the truth is so much more fun? Even a little bit, uh, even something that's just, uh, you know, mild, but is definitely the truth, is so much more interesting that, than just wish fulfilment of truth. To me, if it starts with there was this ghost, right, it's not interesting. You could say anything. There was this ghost that could turn custard into wine. It doesn't matter. There was this ghost that had nine heads. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There was this <laughs> you know Carl's looking at you going, there's a ghost that can turn custard into wine. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter what you say after that. There's a ghost that can uh, uh, swallow alligators whole. The, th the premise means it's not true to me. Do you know what I mean? It's like people say, you know what? Uh, God, right? He's incredible. I gotta stop you there. It, the fact that you can make the earth in seven days, well, you've lost me already. Do you know what I mean? Where if someone says something like, you know, a cockroach can live five days without a head, that's interesting. That's interesting. Right. Do you think when you die, they say, you're a ghost, this is gonna amaze you. <laughs> you yeah. can go and you can spook people out. Yeah. Do you like custard? <laughs> Get, Come over no, here. No. Well, if you don't, oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, oh. Do you like wine? Of course I do. <laughs> oh, you are gonna love it. Yeah? <laughs> You're gonna love me. You're gonna love it. I've lost all my loved ones. Yeah. Uh, do, do you see what I mean? It's, it's it's what your sort of beliefs are based on. Mine are sort of on, I suppose, logic and and, and science. And so but what, I'm amazed by the world and and. So the ice man, why why does that amaze you? What's what's like oh. Well, they, they, they found some, uh, uh, part of our preserved past. You know, it's interesting. I, uh, you know, I, again, I'm amazed by anthropology and evolution. Yeah. Go it's on. just that, that, that line on its own like that, you know, they found an ice man is great, but then it went on and on and it's going on about, you know, they've had to get different people involved to find out how old, how old it was. Because first of all, the story started off, right, <laughs> an old fellow on holiday somewhere, uh, where did they find it? In Sweden or something? And he was walking in the hills and He was uh, walking in the hills. In hills? Was yeah. he a transvestite? In the mountains. Oh right. in the hills. Yeah. Yeah. So he's walking walking about and he sees this body in the in the snow and he thinks, Oh so he calls the calls the police up and they come and have a look and he goes, Oh yeah, it's probably a murder. So then they di dig it up and find out He's got hold of a spear in his hand. Right, and he's and he's dressed like Fred Flintstone. Yeah. Right. And they realise it's probably not a recent murder. Right. His knuckles are drugging on the floor. <laughs> he's yeah. a Neanderthal man. They yeah. think, hang on, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> but when they found out, hang on, it's an old thing. It's an old thing! Can it? If it was a murder recent, then you'd go, hang on, how did this happen? Who does he belong to? Yeah. But the chances are whoever murdered him is also dead. Five thousand years ago, probably. Yeah. So leave it. Just bury it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a murder investigation. No, but they are. It's not Quincy going, this is really, this was before my time. It's no, not that, a murder investigation. Uh, yeah, just, just one thing bothers me, sir. Um, just one final thing. My wife loves you. <laughs> but, um, this guy. This that's, guy. That's how they were Why would he have a spear <laughs> yeah. and a leopard skin? I, I just can't, I can't get over this. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. What, what are you saying? What are you saying? Right, shut up everybody. What are you saying? You've got one chance now. You've got to ask me a question and I will answer it the best way. But what are you saying? I'm what is saying, your question? Right, you probably spent a load of money trying That's not to a question. Out. That's not a question. Yeah, well, let me tell you what I'm saying, right? They're probably spending a load of money finding out stuff about this fella who died. And even if, even if he wasn't murdered, he'd be dead by now anyway. So get over it, right? <laughs> 3,000 years ago, he, he died, mm -hmm. right? So then they start messing about with it, saying, well, how did he die? Well, it, it doesn't matter. It was it was ages ago. Then you start digging his belly open, seeing uh, last meal that he ate. Yeah. Oh, he ate seeds and leaves. Well, no surprise, really. <laughs> There's now else around. Again, spending more money. Someone's been paid money to sort that out. Then they bury him, and then said, "Hang on a minute. Are, are you sure that he died by, like, a spear? Let's dig him up again." So they dig him up again and find some splinter or Sorry, something. I don't believe they buried him. They did. Well, in some sort of fancy coffin so everyone can see him. But for me, that is more wasteful than sorting out something that's, you know, like someone who's ill. Sort, sort something out, you know, something. Yeah, they, 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 sorry, it's not either or. They don't, they didn't pull a doctor out of surgery. <laughs> exactly. Uh, There's not an old man in a bed in a yeah. corner or somewhere. Yeah, going, go, oh, Ted, oh, what are you doing? Stomach. I'm just, I'm just giving this bloke a, a stat clear. <laughs> no, look, we found an old fella in a skit. Okay, uh, okay, you <laughs> yeah. take over. It's not either or, Carl. 
What are you talking about? It's scientific research. But don't you see why this is fascinating? It gives us an insight into how we lived 3,000, 5,000 years ago. That's an incredible historical document. The what scenes. if it was your equivalent? What if it was like the card of the time and there's people, uh, you know, ghosts now through that going, oh God, you don't believe, don't, I, I don't believe it. They've dug, dug up Carl. They think we're all like that. Oh no, don't, oh no, they're going into his brain now. They're looking at how his brain works. We're going to get such a bad rep. Oh well, dear. Each to their own, if you like it. I just thought it was a bit of a... a waste of money. Bit of, bit, a little bit of a waste. Yeah, okay. But, uh, there you go. Anyway, we've, uh, will we give out the answers to Rockbusters next? If we yeah. must. Yeah. It sometimes stuns me. Mm. Sometimes I, I'm taken aback, do you know what I mean? But what worries me, it, it, what worries me is if one day aliens do visit. <laughs> I'd love and that. they come down, yeah. But what worries me is they might bump into. What if they bump into you? What if they bump into you and they think that you represent mankind? And they go up and they they start another planet. They can act. They say oh. we'll ask you three questions, and if you answer them correctly. Do you know what he said to me the other day? Uh, this is unbelievable. This is one of the most stupid, incredible things I've ever heard. He was talking, and he suddenly stopped, and he was thinking about, it, and he went, "Oh, I went what?" He went, "You'd never see a black ghost." Extraordinary. True, though, isn't it? I've never seen any ghosts, full stop. There are no ghosts. There aren't ghosts. No, but I mean when you just see them in, like, magazines and that. <laughs> <laughs> Play the record! There's a shadow somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's already good, isn't it? I'm loving no, it already. No, no, right, there's a shadow, I think it was in America. Yeah. And uh, it's on a quiet road, I I'm guessing somewhere like Boston, that's what I, I imagine. <laughs> okay, right? no, no, no. Somewhere yeah. like Boston, and people at night used to see this shadow moving about and they'd go, what's that? Right? And, and it got known that the town, the little local town got known for this shadow but it didn't cause any problems. People what are you to... talking about? Well, it was <laughs> Just, like... You've lost me. What are you talking no, about? No, do you know like some places get famous like uh, Scotland's got the Loch Ness Monster and that but no, it doesn't cause any, yeah. but it doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't exist, go on. Right? So there's this shadow walking about on the road. And, what? Uh... What do you mean? No, what's he? Again? <laughs> Rubbish. Right, so it's Nonsense. walking about. Where did you read this? Where did you it's see this? It's walking about. This was on the internet and I'm oh, sure. Oh, sorry! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> I thought it was shite. <laughs> I didn't know it was on the internet. Right, so this shadow is moving about and God, uh... Independently of and, an object. Yeah, and the, and the local mayor and that is like, yeah, it's a bit weird but it's not harming anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor involved! <laughs> hey, was he mayor? elected to that post? Hey, hey, mayor, we got a problem down here, seems like a shadow. <laughs> uh, well, it's not causing any problems. No, it's, <laughs> it's just causing any problems. Yeah, go but on. That's, but that's the thing, it was left for years and then it did start causing problems. <laughs> I see, that's it. If you leave these shadows to go unchecked, Rick, they go crazy. Yeah. You let them run amok in the yeah. city. Yeah. You've got to stab around on, on what Roman did shadows. What did, what did the shadow do? It was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> it was what? It was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll find out more for that next week. <laughs> Right, that'll tease Oh, on. you're a maniac! We'll do more on that. <laughs> we haven't had time for educating- Please never have children. Right, listen. <laughs> you are Just a promise maniac. me now you'll never have kids. It was in St. Ives, and uh, just, you know, it was a nice day and that. There was no telly in the place. It was a horrible house. Um, it's this old, it was haunted. Uh -huh. Actually, no, honestly. No, not honestly. It wasn't haunted. There's no such thing as ghosts. So, those, so you saying honestly it was haunted means fuck all. It's the most. It's the weirdest place and weirdest sensation I've ever had. I spoke to a woman called Mrs. Battersby. Right. Uh, who sat on my bed keeping me up all night. My mum came up. She said you look shattered. I said yeah, I had a kip all night. She said why? I said, I've been talking to Mrs. Battersby. She said who's that? I said no, oh, some old woman. Now I can't remember it now, but that's what I did then. And then, uh... Sorry, sorry, uh, so Mrs. Battersby didn't exist, is that what you're saying? She was the ghost? Yeah. Wasn't the landlady? No, there's no landlady. It's a big house, about, right. about 12 bedrooms in it. Right. Dead, dead cheap to stay there, because it was a wreck. My were you dad Ill? went were out you Ill? Did you have flu at the no, time? No, I had nothing like that, I just... So you were sitting up, but you were awake, and you were having a conversation with Mrs. Battersby. <laughs> <laughs> what did she look like? I can't remember. I can't even remember having the chat now. Right, but so... at the time, I was like, oh, she just doesn't shut up chatting all night. So you don't remember this happening? Or you do remember it happening? No, I remember that, like, n if I see my mum now and I mention St. Ives, she'll go, oh yeah, Mrs. Battersby. She remembers coming in, because she was older than me, wasn't she? So, to so her, my mum. Was she? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Battersby. She was older than both she of you. She was older, because I'm calling her Mrs. Battersby. If she was my age, I'd probably say, oh, it's Susan or whatever. Right, sure. You'd Ms. call Ms. older people Ms. by the surname, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she kept oh, me up all night. Yeah. Dunno, I'm thinking of pictures at the wedding. 
Uh, why do you have to go through other things to just have a memory? How old do you reckon you why were? Do, why, I, I don't understand why you haven't got direct access to your memories. How old do you reckon you were? Uh, your mum was older though, yeah? You must have a vague idea of when this well, event was. I'm thinking about it now, I'm thinking. Okay. I'm, I'm picturing the picture of myself at this wedding. Okay. And how old are you? What are you doing? How tall I'd say you? I look about... How were you? Uh, uh, I'd say I look about seven or eight, looking at the picture. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. So Mrs Battersby is chatting away to you. You don't remember what she said, but you do remember having the conversation. No, he doesn't remember it at no, all. I don't remember the chat now. Well then, so, why are you telling? You must your remember memory. it because you're telling us about it's not it. Your because memory. it's a memory. My mum's reminded me of it. Yeah, but all it says is, that, oh, this is so far removed. This is hearsay that your mum said you spoke to a ghost once. And you don't even remember the ghost, Mrs. But, Battersby. No, yeah, you, no, remember you don't the remember, name, remember her. Because your mum reminded you of it. In a court of law, if there was a ghost court, they go hearsay thrown out of court. Right. You yeah. don't have a memory of Mrs. Battersby. No, look, I know that when I was a kid, yeah. I had a beetle. <laughs> I ate a beetle because I thought it was licorice. Now, I can't remember that now. You can't remember that, but you you know it happened because your mother told you it happened. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but the fundamental thing is that we can believe- it remembers, it We can believe- We can believe you ate a beetle, well, because that is something that could happen in real life. But- What we're questioning is that you spoke to a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what sort of beetle was it? Just one of them standard beetles, just a black shiny one. Thing is, right, a couple of years ago, we were in the ivy, and the food came, and there's a big blob of wasabi, right? It was like a, a um, got a, a called an oriental hors d'oeuvre, right? And uh, I looked over at Carl, and he started going, <gasps> drinking water. I said, what have you done? He said, I that. I said, that was a blob of wasabi. He said, I thought it was one mushy pea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classy restaurant, they're serving one mushy pea. Well, they do that, don't they? Wow. Small portions. It's all trendy, isn't it? Yeah. I love the fact that it's this exactly the same thing. Yeah. They've swapped beetle for wasabi yeah. and licorice for pea. Uh, you see things, you see something. You it's think, a good job you remember that anecdote, though, because he doesn't. <laughs> exactly, yeah. In years to come, we'll be going, it's some wasabi once. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Well, according to Ricky, I did, yeah. I was in the ivy. I thought, I thought it were mushy pea. Uh -huh. <laughs> So hang on, I just want to go back to Mrs. Battersby because what you other... confidently said, you confidently said, uh, it was haunted, it was haunted, haunted place, yeah. but you've got no real evidence for it because even, even you claim you had this encounter, you don't even remember it. Yeah, but you don't remember everything in life, But you supposedly you? had a conversation with a ghost. I know, yeah. but I didn't know. When I was younger, I but didn't you remember think that was the a ghost. specifics of an oh, ant so walking you, around? Yeah, so you thought, ah, oh, so I see, if you'd have had the memory, it would just be a nice old lady on the end of your bed all night. Right. And then... It, it, then when I mentioned it, my man was saying, what do you mean? Mrs. Battersby. Who's Mrs. Battersby? Right. When you're a kid, you're not terrified, are you? No. Nothing scary. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to think who the fuck is Mrs. Battersby, I must admit. But... So, yeah, that was, uh, but it was a weird place. I mean, there was no telly. Right. Um, all they had for sort of company was a calculator. <laughs> 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 Carl, you wow. are the strangest little man that's, that's ever lived. Company, yeah, the company. Oh, no. There goes Carl with his friend. What's his friend? Oh, it's a, it's a little. It's a Sanyo four one nine seven G. I love that. That's amazing. Oh, Carl, did you do that boobs thing again? Uh, my mum and dad used to go Memories. out. I stayed in there. Just shots of him with his calculator <laughs> on the beach. Yeah. Like that. It's Sunday. <laughs> Maybe beautiful and the Four yeah. plus sixteen. <laughs> what would it be? God, <laughs> What was that one you told me and it was completely wrong? About the... It was, uh... Oh yeah, right, it's... Years ago. Oh yeah. Uh, some... some In olden days, oh, sure. when ghosts like, roamed the earth. Once upon a time, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some doctor or something who was into, like, the way bodies work, um, they got their head cut off. Uh, who and did? The doctor? Yeah, he was doing a bit of an experiment. And he cut his own head off? He, yeah. Okay. And it was about, um, he said, when my head's in the basket, I'm gonna blink my eyes. Right. Okay, sorry, hang on, let, let him finish. <sighs> and, um... So the doctor has chopped his own head off and then he's told everyone, I'm gonna blink my eyes to prove that He's in the basket and he goes like, right, I'm gonna blink my eyes about, f you know, as many times as I can. So quick, count them. And, and they count and he got to like 15 before he, he, he Right. He died. Now this is how Carl told me that. Till, till Nick Frost explained that, Carl told me, like, he said, right, well a bloke, right, he had his head cut off, and as it, and it, when his head was in the basket, he went, count how many times I can blink. <laughs> and I went, well that's rubbish. He went, no. And Nick went, well no, he, he actually said, when my head's in the basket. He went, and Carl went, oh, all right. I said, so Carl, do you know the subtle difference? Do you see the subtle difference? 
I have to say though, guys, I still don't really understand what went on there. I really- you've well, both well, lost me. The story is that a bloke who'd been found doing, um, uh, doing You a, mean uh, that Carl just explained it and that was a clear <laughs> version? <laughs> Cause I still don't know what you're talking about, Carl. Well, this bloke had his head cut off for uh, experiments against God. He was a doctor in the, you know, uh, in olden times. Yeah. And when they cut his head off- um, Why did they cut his head off? Um, uh, cause it was- uh, He it was, was crimes against- Exactly, he was executed, yeah. And, uh, uh, he said to his assistant, when my head's in the basket, I'm gonna blink, count how many times I blink and write it down as an experiment, right? Carl told it to me, like his head was cut off and he went in the basket, and when his head was in the basket, he looked up and said, count how many times I blink. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love the difference in that story. Yeah. yeah. Both rubbish, yeah. but, um, you know, yeah. one's, one's Why possible and one isn't. Anything, you believe anything that you're told except when we tell you the truth. Right, yeah. here's one. Christ. Ghosts and that we got we got talking about. Sure. And Nick uh, Nick said, right. He said you'll like this one. <laughs> he said uh, my uh, my auntie um, was having loads of problems. Why are you in whispering? It's not illegal like, to talk Ooh. about ghosts on the radio. No, but, but it's here. And, um, so um, <laughs> the auntie's in the house and that, and um, furniture's moving about all the time. Oh god. And they were like, no, oh, just... Steve, you told me this one. This is such rubbish, mate. No, come I'm on, let's listen. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna sit back and uh, enjoy it. I'm just gonna watch your face, Steve. <laughs> right. Sorry, so, so I missed said, the beginning uh, there, Carl. There's an empty right, Basically, age. Nick's auntie. Right. Um, in the house, things moving around all the time. Oh, it was right. just annoying every time she tidied up. It was like, oh, <laughs> it was just annoying. Making a mess. <laughs> it was one part annoying to two parts scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so oh, stuff dear. was stuff was moving around all the time, and yeah. they said, right, rather than right, we need a housekeeper. Yeah. Rather than having the house a mess, uh, <laughs> until we sort Stop this it! Out. <laughs> I've got the vicar coming round. Stop moving stuff around. Oh, yeah, go on. They said that shouldn't be in the pants drawer. <laughs> Let's put all the furniture in one room, right? right. So uh, just have one room. That's a mess, and have all the others <laughs> empty. Because I love the poltergeist can't really o it can move for wardrobes around, but it can't open the door to put it in another room. Yeah. Poltergeist going, oh, I'm just making this room messy. I wish someone opened the door so I could f go on. Yeah, but. So, so all this stuff's in this room. So right? they moved all their furniture everything into one room. Everything they put like the drawers in there and everything, and <laughs> it was really uncomfortable because they were all like on top well, of each they other. They sat in the room with all the stuff. Yeah, they had to because that's where the three piece suite was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh god! Right. Oh, oh god! So they sat there, like right, all crumpled up on that, but nothing can move because it's so tight. Things, yeah. I think things were trying to move. Yeah, yeah everything yeah, yeah. was so tight. It's they just boxed like, that report, guys. So, um, so anyway, one night they sat there, like sort of a bit awkward watching the telly and that, and um, they hear some banging. Yeah. In the next room. <laughs> so uh, she goes, "Oh god, what's that?" Oh, he hadn't moved in, had he, the ghost? So, uh. Um, <laughs> some of the empty rooms. So, there's this banging. <laughs> He's moved some friends and family in. <laughs> there's this banging about going on. No, so this, this, she, this, she gets this. up, right? Yeah. And what it is, they had the baby in the next room because there wasn't much room for the cot. Right, so they left the baby with, with the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so, they go into the room where the baby is, <gasps> and the banging. Yeah. Is like, do you know those plastic balls you get that you can chuck around the room and, like, they go mental? Right. The ones that you chuck once and yeah. they keep bouncing yeah, yeah, for ages. Yeah, yeah. That was bouncing around the room. Why? What, the baby all, had thrown it? It in all the walls and the baby was there, stood in the cot, sort of laughing. Right. And looking at the ball and wherever it looked the ball went. Yeah. And then she said, uh, she said, stop doing that. Yeah. And the ball just stopped. Did it? And it, and it rolled a bit and stopped. Right. So the baby had thrown the ball and it was watching it as it bounced around the room? It wasn't throwing it, it was in control of it. No, the point is, Steve, the baby had been doing it, it would have been the baby all along. The baby had been messing with the furniture. It was so a baby it's a that super had the power. Baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby that had the power. Special, ba special baby. It's a baby that powers. had the power. It's what, what a baby power? that had the power. What, the, power the power of telekinesis. Right. They were then trying to convince me that uh, telekinesis was not like all the other stuff that I didn't believe in, but that was a science. Right. Telekinesis was possible. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It's not like. It's not like ghosts and demons and uh, all that sort of. Telekinesis is different. Yeah. That, that's yeah. A science. Um, but ne but. Nick's auntie saw it and I love the fact that you're telling me that someone else's auntie <laughs> saw it. <laughs> so I should be I should be satisfied with that. Yeah. I, I, I should be satisfied with that. I mean no. So does she still live in one room with all her possessions? No, I think the uh, baby the grew out of it apparently. It, it grew <laughs> the up. baby grew out of it. it. So it doesn't use its telekinesis powers no. anymore. Well no, it's no. like in Carrie, innit? She she was upset for a bit and then she got over it. Okay, I'm yeah. just gonna say one thing, Carl. Um that was a film. Do you wanna play a record or? <laughs>
just tell you a story that Carl told me a couple of weeks ago. Is this another um, ghost story? Another yeah, it is, story? yeah. Um, uh, I called him out. I was, what are you doing? He said, oh, I said, I've just been reading ghost stories again. He went, th he said, right, he said, you don't believe in them, but how do you explain this? Right, I went, go on. He said, uh, well, I'll tell you as he told me it. He went, um, block, right, just sitting at home, just sitting at home, doing, you know, watching telly with his, with his cat. And, uh, the phone rings and it's a bloke going, uh, oh, uh, is that fire, uh, in your oven okay now? Um, cause your wife called. And he went, Carl went, well, one, there was no fire in the oven. Two, he wasn't married. <laughs> I went, right. Go on, he went, well. Then, right, there was a knock at the door and there was two sort of people in sort of well, white coats and they, and they kind of said, oh, we've come about that fire. Your wife called us. He went, one, there isn't a fire in my oven and two, I'm not even married. Right? And he said, and they saw the cat and they sort of, they looked at the cat, it looked a bit weird at the cat, the cat came out, and, they, uh, 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 and uh, he said, and then he went back it sat down, phone rings, and they said, oh, uh, did they sort out the fire in the oven that your wife told us about? Oh. He went, one, there is no fire in my oven, two, I haven't got a wife. And Carl went, what do you think of that? I went, that's not it. <laughs> he went, yeah, I went. <laughs> that's the end of the I went, story. What? 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 He went, well, how'd you explain that? I went, explain what? I thought he was gonna say, <laughs> a year later he got married but she died in an oven fire. <laughs> right? I thought it was gonna be that- and I went, That's what? people winding him up! Yeah, or, 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 um, someone did report a fire in an oven and their name was Johnson and they looked up Johnson they got the wrong thing, it was the gas board or <laughs> and they sent around to the wrong person, right? Do you know what, he, uh, he went, went, yeah, I said, I, I explained it to him, he went, yeah, why did they look at the cat funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man alive, Carl. <laughs> this is really weird, right? I was, um, <coughs> I was, uh, in my house once, right, and the doorbell rang. Yeah. Right, I opened the door and there was no one there. Yeah. Right? And then I looked across the street, and right, some kids and there were some kids running away. Yeah. Now, how do you explain that? Yeah. There was another time, right, where, like, I, I opened the door and there was a bloke goes, you've ordered pizza. I went, I haven't ordered pizza. And I heard my mate upstairs giggling and putting the phone down. Yeah. How do you explain that? Carl, seriously, what did you, why did you tell me that story? What did you think, what did you think that was weird about that? The fact that it was three different people. Is this all the information? Is that the entire story? Have you, did it was you, three different people. Did you fall asleep and not read the end? A fire that didn't happen, about a wife that didn't exist, <laughs> and a cat that didn't look happy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack, Carl. What? I mean, why? Why did they look at the cat funny? Because what? cats don't don't like um, spirits, do they? <laughs> what? The other blokes were ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. So right? these are, these are kind of beetle about type ghosts. <laughs> these are ghosts to walk the st walk the earth <laughs> as the ah! undead, just winding oh, people up slightly. That's lovely. That is but lovely. And a cat can't... that did not look happy. But seriously, why would ghosts start wander around just like winding people up? <laughs> oh, maybe something did happen there years ago. Mm. Some fire. Some woman might have died in the house of a fire or something. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it sort of all happened again. Bit yeah. Of a, yeah, it's certainly a mystery. It's, I mean, certainly you know, it's a mystery. Yeah. I mean, I can't. I can't What's this I, book you were reading? You were reading a book, which is interesting enough. There was, um, it was the Fourteen, Fourteen Times. Oh, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Do you believe in, uh, I think well, lycanthropy? Is it, is it not called? What's that, sorry? Lycanthropy. What's lycanthropy? Isn't that wa werewolfism? Really? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do you believe in that, Carl? They've, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? They've found kids walking about who are all airy. Because, uh, they've, they've sort of grew up with, uh, wolves and that. Yeah. So. No, you see, two things there. Um, right, uh, you cannot take on acquired uh, characteristics genetically. So, if you grew up with wolves, it wouldn't suddenly make you hairy. Uh, there's two- There's been pictures, there's been pictures, there's been stories on it, and I reckon most people have, or a lot of people have seen the stories. It's a popular you thing. Mean, you mean the kids that are born hairy? No, no, there's kids who've been born hairy, right? Yeah, that's it. No, but listen, and they walk around on all fours, <laughs> and they drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I've, Steve, this is no, too No, remember, easy. listen, remember that time with the maggot and the head? Yeah. Um, getting out with bacon and you were like laughing and then people called up and said, yeah, I've, I've seen that, I've read about that. Yeah, this but is the you, same thing. have you is... seen an XFM listener up close? Have you ever looked? They studied... drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got to be kept on leads. People who listen to this show. There's, there's no point in me telling you about stuff. 
There it is. It's comedy see, gold. When you, when you were out of school, did you keep arguing with the teacher saying you're talking rubbish? Teachers like that? didn't teach us about werewolf boys and ghosts. Mm. They taught us maths. God, right? Tell the story about the manhole cover. Right in the same magazine as uh, as the one with the with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again. It gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on its face yeah. is it, against God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story. This was just uh, like physics. Explained. Physics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is, and uh, <laughs> they put they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the man I'll cover again. <laughs> <laughs> man alive, Carl. <laughs> I'll explain What's that. going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. If anyone has ever seen that man I'll cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. What sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi billion pound research budgets, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to man or cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Of do you reckon it can send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on then, put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What? Uh, what? Of what value is that? <laughs> I'm like, so what we could do? We could let the put the manhole cover on it and aim it, and then blow the bomb up, and it would <laughs> it would the manhole cover would have someone's eye out. <laughs> fire it. See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb. Whatever. <laughs> Try bangers to a bomb. See if it's louder. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Right, there's this fellow, I think it happened in America, uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky, <laughs> and, uh, God, if you're bored. And he stood there. <laughs> this is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yes, yeah, cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he looked at it and it disappeared, <laughs> right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He has <laughs> Right? But. And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light and I, I, I got back in the car and I grew a beard and she said, never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is- He the, passed out because he was pissed. No. <laughs> Ah! The, the UFO had <laughs> taken him for three days, yeah. but he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is, yeah, he yeah. took him and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um, so, right, okay. J j I mean, was Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones anything to do with this at all? Did you, were you, did you see this on a video maybe and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Yeah. Um, Can I just ask again? Just, just again. I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent for three days from home. He's the, grown the a beard. The time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if, if he, he was lying? Drunk? What if he was lying? He got knocked unconscious. Mm. He would had a car crash. Just any lying. Other no, thing? just lying. Or he was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days. And that with was his, his excuse to his wife. And they went, what are you gonna, what, Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. She's not gonna believe I was out with you, lads. Uh, yeah. uh, Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she didn't know I wasn't away for a minute because of the beard. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have, that's, <laughs> exactly. right, okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played. So out. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learnt from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learnt so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no. Uh, what do you mean, add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this. To this, what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right. Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're going to get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that. Do you know, like all our rules have a code. Uh, Carl, I, I, I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right? Do you know, like how here? Do, do you know? I've no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know, like over <laughs> here? I'm listening to Capital <laughs> and these headphones. <headphones. laughs> I got I got Foxy on <laughs> yesterday. Uh, right, let's let's bin that. No. Do you know, like you don't believe in like scary stuff, just like. You know, ghosts. No, I believe in scary stuff. I don't believe no, in things that are totally that. logical. Yeah, ghosts. Vampires? No. Anything made up by man. 
Well, there was, some, there was something in the paper the other day about a vampire. How they found one? They dug something up. It was in the paper. And, oh, um, it's true then. It's only true. But it's we'll leave that. Then. But we'll leave that because you're just going to do that, so it doesn't matter. No, come on. Well, let's go on quickly. On. Tell us about you. Found no, it's just that they found they found a body in a coffin yeah. with a, a bit weird. of wood through its heart and a knife in its mouth. But <laughs> if you don't believe it, <laughs> it then was a vampire pirate. It was a vampire pirate. But that's definitely proof of a vampire, then, of course, and not some grotesque murder. Yeah. That's definitely proof of if a If it was found, if it was found, if it wasn't, one, if it wasn't right, made hang up. Hang on a minute, yeah. two, hang on a minute. As far as I'm aware, they, Rick, when you put the, the thing through their heart, they just turn into dust. As, and and also, all, the, all their victims get, get their own life back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's right, the and here was the second bit. Yeah. Somebody had dug it up, yeah. got the heart, blended it, burnt it, pop it, popped it in some water, mm. drank it, and they're in prison now. Now, if it wasn't dodgy stuff, why are they in prison? Well, they're in prison because they're mental, because they dug up a body, liquidised its heart, <laughs> burnt it and drank it. <laughs> That's, That's why, why they're, they're in prison. prison. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. your answer. Right. <laughs> but anyway, that isn't what I'm talking about, right? But I met, I met uh, Derek Akora the other week. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, and who's he? Which one's he? He's uh, is he is he a medium? He can contact the dead. Is that right? He just chats to him and that sure. passes his messages on. Nice of him. So I said, oh, tell us something a bit weird and that. So he mm. said, what do you want to know? I said, just just something weird. So he goes, all right then. He said, uh, here's one for you, right? And he said, uh, there's this pub out in the country. And uh, he said, there's this mug. Do you know those old mugs that they have, where they used to, they used to like leave their own cup, knocking like about. Like a tank. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The tankard thing. Yeah. So, uh, so there was there was one of them mugs in there, right? And everybody. Tankard. Like, Let's use tankard if we've right, established yeah, that. Tankard, yeah. Because yeah. you're the only mug in this story. Right. He's nice. Believing it all. High five. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So this tankard's knocking about, right? And everyone who's running the pub keeps going, oh, I wish they'd stop leaving this tankard about, right? Mm. And they pick it up. <laughs> it must be a pain. <laughs> Having a, a tiny, small tankard in a pub. That must be a real grind. So, so every time they sort of picked it up and went, we'll have to wash that, and they popped it on a different mm. sideboard. Next thing you know, that person who's touched it died, right? Sure. <laughs> so <laughs> They must have been getting through bar staff. So they got, so they kept getting a new staff and that, and they were like, oh, what's the connection here? Right? <laughs> What's the connection here? Oh God! So anyway, so call they, Australia. We've run out. So they, so they, they sort of someone <laughs> notices and they go, you know, it's a bit weird. It's it's that cup, right? So they get tankard. A, they, they get, so it's that it's that tankard and that. So um, they get a vicar in. Of course they do. And they go, look, um, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. This 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 tankard. Every time someone touches it, they die. So he said, leave it with me. He gets his um, special water out and what have you. He comes round, does a little prayer, sprinkles it. He goes, right, not a problem, don't worry about it. He picks it up, chucks it in the bin. Guess what? <laughs> what? Dies in a crash on the way home. Because he picked it up. Well, but, 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 Carl, you're telling me this like it's fact. And I'm meant to go, that's amazing. Delicate Cora, he told me. <laughs> Carl, I have, I, have, I, have, I have no opinion of that story. Other than I'm pretty sure there was absolutely no connection between touching the tankard and him dying. That's all I'm sure. It's of. not just him, though, is it? I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to even um, uh, contest the, the chain of events. All I'm saying is there is no connection. There is no connection possible because I believe in logic and the laws of the universe. So you, you, when you're you, when you're telling me um, miracles and strange things outside coincidence, you may as well be telling me about the tooth fairy and the Easter bunny because they're equal to me. That it's ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. So what what would it take though for you to go? Oh, I, I, I'm actually a believer now. But but what you're saying is you, you're. I can't answer that question because I I'd have to base. Um, my beliefs on some of your premises, which I can't do. Uh, it's like it's like you saying, but what if you found out that two and two equaled five? I, I can't. It's a necessary truth that it doesn't. I'd have to. I'd have to go back and fundamentally uh, uh, disagree with what I think twoism is, twoness and fiveness. And you, it, you've never been in a situation though where you've gone. This room feels a bit weird. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Could be something knocking about or. But th but that's 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 a different question. I I, I could go into a really rough looking pub and think this this isn't good because it's 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 no, based well, like on induction then. Because I mean I mean like you know if you've been to Cornwall on holiday and stayed somewhere and you've gone do you know what? I'm sure, so much died in here. I'm sure so much died everywhere. Yeah, but what I mean you never pick up a vibe of like I I I've got a mate right who uh is is living in this big stately home, right? And what it Why is, is he living there? He's, 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 he's paying £100 a month, right, 
and it's almost like he's being a security man. Oh, right. But he's not. He's not. He, he doesn't sit out the door with that on and everything. He just goes about his life, but he bases most of his work in this stately home. So what is it like a, a like a, a housekeeper like, like he's a sort of house sitting a, a little bit yeah I mean it's mass it's 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 bigger than Buckingham Palace this place right so what is it a billionaire that's gone away or something I, th I think it's some sort of uh, I think he said something about a, a viscount or something right? right he said it's he owns this place he is living in America this place he owns but it's falling to bits wow and he's worried that people are going to go in there and squat and what have you so he said to me mate. You know, there was an advert, advert in the paper, he doesn't know him, advert in the paper saying, do you want to live in a big house, 100 quid or whatever? And uh, he, he went and had a look, right? And, and he's living in there now, he pays 100 pound a month. There's about 80 rooms. Gee. And uh, it's this big stately house, might have you. And I went, I went down there, he said, oh, come down and have a look, right? And from outside, you go, oh, this is brilliant. It's like something out of, you know, like the Man of Born or something. You go, this is, this is impressive. But then when you get in, it's like, it's a wreck. Uh, it's right. just falling apart because they can't afford. Well, it's just been left. No one's no one's doing any vacuuming up or anything. There's like rat poison everywhere. Um, like windows are smashed, doors kicked in. That's a real this. shame. Mm. What, why is it? Is it? Is it I don't think it, he's doing his job, is he? Is it because it because it would cost like millions to do up? Or well, something? apparently it'd be like I, I think they're going to have it done up, but it's it's going to cost like eighty million, right? So anyway, so it's a big house. It's a big house. So we get we go to the pub and what have you. I've got like a little torch and um we, we're wandering around looking in all these different rooms right and i'm asking him what's what why is what how's it got in this state Do you know what i mean if someone's had it why, why why have they let it get to this state and he was saying how you know it was like a, a mental home right. at one point and um it was like a drug thing as well people who had, had problems with drugs they popped them out there because it's in the middle of nowhere do you know what i mean if you if you needed drugs or anything forget it it's not gonna happen Do you know what i mean so so that's straight away do you know like have you ever been in a, a hospital when it's been shut down or a school when there's no kids in it and there's that sort of bad atmosphere of like weirdness yeah right for so, the sake of argument yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so we're wandering about and i say oh yeah what's in this room right and, and we go in and all the floors are like a wreck and rotten and stuff and i looked at the wall and there was like a little piece of paper stuck on the wall Ooh. right and i said what's this here so i wandered over right got right up close to it and somebody had wrote it uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody had wrote it no oh. Some, somebody had wrote it uh, i love someone, this you can do it i wasn't doing jack and ori <laughs> yeah, right, okay right go on, yeah go on so, sorry, so sorry there's, there's a little sign there right and i go up to it and it says flies right with an arrow flies like flies this way yeah. right so i think that's that's a bit weird <laughs> so i follow the arrow right which goes to this corner where there's a shelf about Three thousand dead flies on it. Oh my god! Condom stuck on the top. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's weird. Isn't that it? is weird. That is that weird. Is weird. Right? So I'm looking at that, and there's there's loads of stuff on the floor and that bits of paper. Picked up this bit of paper, right, and it had uh, like in biro and that. It looked really old, like it'd been there years, and it had uh, uh, something like need nappies, dummy, right, uh, blankets. Blah, blah, all this like all stuff for uh, like and i turned it over right and it said none of this now needed baby dead <laughs> right now that's weird isn't it now that's what i'm talking about when you get a bad vibe you go that's that's who's been in here so um, I, I, I don't actually oh, understand God. what point you're trying to make <sighs> carl just because <sighs> it's it, it, who's written that who's been in that room who's been in that state <laughs> and then straight away your mind starts going oh i'm getting bad vibes in here but carl didn't you just tell us that this was once occupied by drug addicts and mentals to yeah. use your word yeah so don't definitely put two and two together and thought that was probably you wrote it that doesn't mean it's paranormal or ghostly you walk into a building it's a big terrifying empty house it's terrifying in as much as it's cold and dark and drafty and a little bit spooky in this sort of illustrative sense and insecure yeah you're because... a bit nervous because you and you know it's got this sort of it's got it's bad vibe it's just based on the fact that your mates in charge <laughs> yeah that's terrifying <laughs>
I mean, yes, yeah, so it's like saying, are we scared of the dark? Yes, if, I understand why people are scared of the dark. I'm a little bit scared of the dark. You're walking along. Because you, you don't know what's in it. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what's in the darkness. That's why people get nervous. It doesn't mean you have to make the leap then that you've got some paranormal sense. Oh my God, I'm Carl Pilkington. And hang on, just like Derek Akora, I have sensed something strange and evil in this room. Wait a minute, there's some flies in a condom. <laughs> I was right all along. That is weird. Flies in a Johnny equal <laughs> badness. The, the, the flies in the condom was weird. It's now. weird. I don't know. But, it's but, but the note. The note. Yeah. I just think of his face when he saw that. <laughs> Reading it by torchlight. <laughs> you must have been terrified. Again, I broke the rules in the week. I met up with Carl. Oh, I had lunch with him, and uh, we were chatting. And having a having a cup of tea, and it got onto one of Carl's favourite programmes was the Tales of the Unexpected. Ah, oh, of course. And all I can think is that he's probably the only person in Britain where they were unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to him, when that that twist came, and he go, "Gee, I can't." Yeah. Oh God! Can't believe so it. it was the tree that did it. <laughs> I mean, he was probably the only. And, I, and we were telling all these stories of horror, and he liked horror stories. And I, and I told him this story, um, uh, and I don't know if this had come across the radio, but I told him this story. Um, it was a, it was a short. It was a horror short. This was a, a film you saw, was it? Yeah, yeah. And um, what it was, it started off just had been a car crash. You see, it's a horrendous wreck, and you saw it from the point of view of the person in the car, and he was calling for his mate, and he was going, Dave. And he sort of he, he sort of looked over and saw a body without a head that had been thrown at He goes, Oh no, Dave, Dave. And then into the field of view came Dave, his mate, and looked at him with a look of horror, and then it sort of went black and you realised that he was just a head and it had been his body. Oh wow. Right? Yeah. And I said, then, then it came up at the end, um, uh, at the, uh, e uh, executions in the French Revolution, um, people experienced consciousness for, you know, and he went, he went, oh. No, he said, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be for that long. And then he went, if it was a chicken it would work. <laughs> Imagine remaking <laughs> that film when it's two <laughs> chickens <laughs> in horrendous car crash. <laughs> Their would, own fault for driving me. <laughs> <laughs> it would work. No. No, he wasn't having that. Yeah. No, it was too long. I think he said, how long was this film? Went, about oh, no, five minutes. He went, no. <laughs> it would work if it was a chicken. I like the way that Carly and something like, when you t relate an incident like that, he's appalled and offended and annoyed by the people that made it, even though he's yeah. never seen oh, it. Oh, he's, he's, get, he, he's annoyed, yeah. Like, I you have it. I wanna say it, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. But they should have thought it through a bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favourite, uh, Tales of the Unexpected, one that you remember particularly that shook you up? Yeah, we were talking about the one on, um, where, uh, there's some woman in prison. Have you seen that one? No, I can't remember them all. Right? This woman's in prison. Yeah. And, uh, she gets a bit friendly with the guy who takes the dead bodies out. Right. And, uh, he said, I can get you out of here. He said, what you've got to do, right? You've got to, uh, I don't know, at midnight. When you, well, when you hear the bell toll, yeah, that means there's a, been a, yeah, a uh, dead body. Yeah, yeah, there's been a dead body. So what you've got to do is go into, like, the, uh, place where all the dead bodies are, get on the, get in the first coffin on the right, and then I'll come along and carry you out and you can run away and escape. Yeah. Right? So she goes, yeah, all right then. So she hears the bell go. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, I'll bury you, right, and then I'll come, I'll come back later and dig you up. Right. Yeah, but that's that, the that point. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Trust me, Carl. All it right, really matters. Okay. Listen, I, I right. don't know if I'm going to ruin this for people at home. Yeah. Can I just skip to the f end? I would imagine that she gets buried and he doesn't come back, and she has to get no, buried alive. Be better than yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She, right. she, she does it. She gets into the coffin. Yes. Yeah, go on. Right. So she gets in the coffin. And uh, she's lying there for ages. She's and buried. She can feel a bit of movement going on, so she's obviously, you know, being carried somewhere. So she's thinking, "This is it. I'm getting out." And uh, yeah, she's lying there for ages and thinking, "Why isn't someone coming and lifting the lid off this?" Do you know what I mean? Letting me get out. So she's really bored. She gets a lighter out, right? Lights it to have a look at who she's lying on. It's only the fella who said she'd it help escape. Oh, how bad is that? That is. <laughs> how bad is that? <laughs> So it is quite important that she's buried alive then, isn't it? In retrospect, you realise that the jeopardy is that she's buried alive and yeah. can't get out. Yeah. 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 Makes it so much worse, doesn't it, than just like lying in the morgue and going, actually I'm getting out of here. Yeah. This isn't gonna work. Look at Carl's face, having told yeah. that, he's so pleased, his face is lit up, he's beaming like yeah. a child. Is Have that, you seen any? Is that your favourite horror thing ever? That, that's a good one. And um… Let's see if anyone knows what the finger is. 
When that bloke oh, was yeah. underground wiggling we're, his finger. We were talking about one with, uh, some fella who's stuck in the ground or something. <laughs> There's a- this is a motif I noticed in your particular <laughs> favourite ones. <laughs> yeah. Right? People no. stuck in the ground. Go yeah, on. right, so she's- she- It's uh, a fella, is it? Yeah, it's- yeah, a fella stuck. Now, I seem to remember it just being his foot, to be honest, being stuck in a hole. I'm no, thinking. he was under the ground and he had- he got a little thing out of the pavement and he put his finger up and wiggled it to try and attract attention. Then you see a woman come along and her stiletto heel just knocks his finger off. You see, I'm wondering whether it's the same one as I saw. Yeah, it could be two like that, couldn't it? <laughs> it's a- it's, it's a- They were running out of ideas by the last <laughs> it's series. A, it's a big theme in Hollywood. <laughs> or, um, what was that one you told me about with the, uh, with the porn? That was a good one. Oh, this was fantastic, right? <laughs> right. There was this- there was this, uh, Sorry, can I just check now? We're just remembering classic episodes of the Tales of No, this is- now, this we? is- this is important. Well, I saw <laughs> one, right? I saw one, um, on Tales of Inspector, right? And it was, um, uh, this- these two gents, um, uh, what they used to do, they look- look down the obituaries and they'd blackmail, um, the- the wife or the son of a- a dead eminent person, like it might be a priest or a doctor or something like, and they'd go and they'd say, he bought some, um, erotic- uh, um, stuff from us, um, before he died, and he owes, uh, a hundred guineas and all this sort of stuff. And, uh, and they'd pay up because it'd be so embarrassing, they just didn't want to say, just pay him, yeah. right? And this one bloke said, um, who are these people? I'll meet with them. And he goes round there, and he goes round, and, uh, they go, your father, he goes, my father could not have bought any erotic material from you. And they did it, he goes, he couldn't have, he's blind. <laughs> right, and that was the twist. And Carl went, so it was magazines, not videos then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now think about it, Steve. Is that so stupid? Well, presumably it was set in olden times because yeah. people, oh, professional right. pornographers don't tend to call it, you know, <laughs> erotic material. Yeah. They tend to call it, you know, juicy jugs or whatever. <laughs> but more than that, I don't understand how a video is going to be any use to a blind person either. I know that you can hear the sound, yeah. Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him nodding like yeah. he's caught me out. Yeah, what sound were you here? Do 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 Ooh, do, ah. do 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 Your meter mm. needs looking at? Yes. Cut. What's then? What's that? Then it's just noises, isn't Occasional it? Occasional groans. Yeah. Right. You okay. could listen through the wall at your neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> I mean, that's why I save a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you were going to point out, Carl, that they could have had a braille porno. Now, have yeah. you thought of that? Look, feel, feel the lumps on that. <laughs> exactly. Think about it, Carl. Think about it. You're excited now. Yeah. yeah. Your girlfriend's away, Carl. Yeah, the cheese grate is only under the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> now she's a good looking lady. Yeah. <laughs> now, Steve. Yes. Carl text messaged me in the week, very excited, because he just watched a programme that proved me and you were stupid. Remember when we, we um we sort of champion the anti supernatural. Yes. We, skeptical view. We're, we're just absolutely skeptical about things like that. Um, um, we're, we're atheists, we don't believe in ghosts, anything like that, anything supernatural. We're, we're very, we're, we're followers of James Randi, a, a genius of our times, but Carl saw something that proved us wrong. I'd like Carl to tell you what this proof was, what he saw on, and uh, look at him. Go on then. It was, on, it was on Wednesday night. Yeah. I was watching. I, you see, the problem is I didn't get the full story, so you could pick holes out of it. Sure, 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 sure. And, and like your usual investigations <laughs> into the supernatural, <laughs> which yeah. are it was right. called. Can I just say what the program was called? Mister Exorcist. <laughs> oh, brilliant! <laughs> so <laughs> sounds bit, like an academic work to me. Yes. The bit that I caught, I, I just flicked it over, uh, uh, sort of seeing what's on the telly, and I thought, oh, Exorcist, I've seen it, but there's nothing else, and I watch it, and then I realised it wasn't the same thing. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll have a bit of this. And um, there was an old woman. And, and a daughter, and as far as I was aware, the, the bit I picked up on, they were saying, oh, you know, it's it's dreadful, and, unless you've been through it, you know, you've had ghosts in your house and that, you really don't know what it's like. Yeah, sure. And the main thing that seemed to be getting them down was the fact that the budgie was getting stressed. The budgie was getting stressed? Because animals can sense the, the other side, can't oh, okay. they? Can they? Yeah. Okay. So, um... And how was that manifesting itself? You don't know. What was the budgie doing? I think it, it, it just wasn't happy. Right. <laughs> did it did it did it explain that to people or no, how did know, it express I mean, that? Budgies are known for being chirpy, aren't they? I see. And it wasn't chirpy. It, it, well, it, you know, it normally swings on its little 
perch and that. And just depressed because it was right. possessed. It was yeah. just sat around in its uh, in its pajamas. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. Come on, so, Steve. Yeah. Come on, Steve. You're making this a mockery. So <laughs> the budgie was depressed because he could sense the ghost. Yeah. And yeah. then, so yeah. this yeah. Um, yeah. this guy, yeah. this Mister uh, Exorcist, came yeah. round. Was that his name? Yeah. Okay. Was he a, was he a, a priest or something? Yeah, he might have been. Yeah. Like a, a did he, did he have a, did he have a, like a black coat with a little white collar? Yeah. That's that's usually the. He had his coat on, so you couldn't tell. I'm sure. Okay. But so he, he came round and he sort of did his thing, yeah. and um and then. And the was, he try, shot. was he trying? Was he trying to exorcise the budgie? Uh, no, no, the, the, the ghost. House. Right. The so house, it wasn't yeah. that the budgie had a demon or anything. No. Out. Okay. No, so this wasn't a possession, was it? This was a straightforward. It wasn't a poltergeist or anything. It was just a. Well, it's a haunted house. Yeah. Yeah, but sure. that, that's the thing he was saying. He was saying you can have like your ghouls and that that aren't that bad. That aren't going to cause you any yeah. problems. Yeah. yeah but obviously yeah, yeah. the the budgie they've they've got weak hearts and that, haven't they? <laughs> and, <laughs> sure. So so on. he go on. So it's a so, house. so anyway, basically he sorted it out, did whatever he did, and uh, the next shot you see is like the budgie making a noise and swinging it's it over the moon again, and the the old woman was like happy because she was she couldn't stressed. believe it. Yeah. And that does the it. priest didn't come in and go well. You should feed that bird. <laughs> Give it a bit of millet. It, it was happy. It goes right. No, See you later. No, it was a. So it's budge, I mean, budgies are. Um, my mum's got a budgie, and they, they, you know, they're fairly happy all the time, aren't they? So it's got to be something fairly yeah. odd. Right. You never see a budgie sitting down going. I feel like topping myself, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Though? No. Do you know no. you can have like moody, a uh, moody dog. You can you can see a dog when it's unhappy if it's walking yeah. down the street. You can have a moody canary, can't you? And what they do is they often tell the police what you've been doing. They're known for that. Mm. Yeah. So, so um, basically, so that for you is proof that the supernatural exists. A bird in a cage got a little bit annoyed, <laughs> wasn't chirping as much as it normally did. Who knows why? There could have been a little draft up its. <laughs> You know, and uh, um, like <laughs> exactly. That's anyway, a medical term. Anyway, a man just... came in and did whatever he did. Yeah. 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 Mr. Exorcist, though, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> was, it, this wasn't any bloke off the street. This was Mr. Exorcist. Yeah, yeah. So and for you, that's the proof that there's um... just because, like, if it was a, a person, you go, oh, they're they playing up for the camera. Yeah, you know, a they'd... budgie could possibly act like that, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's what you mean. You say you're saying a budgie would not be trying to. It wouldn't be trying to become famous. No, or not like telly. not like Lassie. No, sure. It was sure. basically a show off. Yeah, or so, Champion the Wonder Horse. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think I've changed. Well, I've changed my tune, Rick. I don't uh, know about you. I have, and I think we should play a record. Um, my mum called me to ask me to look in some of the magazine shops in London for a magazine that she can't find. It's called UFO Data. <laughs> <laughs> I said I ain't heard of it. She said she's seen an advert for it in one of her ghost magazines. I love the fact that she can't even find the magazine about unidentified <laughs> flying objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we get to, uh, we get a clue. She thinks I think I saw something, but I don't know whether it was a magazine or not. <laughs> so we get to, we get a clue there as to why you you uh, give any credence to this crap. Yeah, well, it's oh, you know, I mean, Mama Pilkington's into the same shit. There's a lot of space out there, isn't there? Mm. She said that this magazine has got new story about how Aldrin brackets astronaut has got some evidence that aliens exist. Yeah. I told her that I found out today that the days are about 36 minutes longer on Mars. We chatted about how this is how they are more advanced than us. Do you mean the Martians? Yeah, if they've, if they've got a longer day, that's more time that they're awake working on stuff. Right, yeah, we know that makes no difference at all. No, it does. Think about it, think yeah. about it. Look, think about it. Six o'clock here, Yeah. people are going, see you tomorrow, I'm going home. They'll be going, oh, another half hour. They've got a longer day. Productive. <laughs> and that's why they're able to fly. That's why they're whizzing around. <laughs> it adds up, oh, it, over the years. Christ almighty, what drivel! Suzanne got in from work at 11.30. I told her about the UFOs in Mars. <laughs> she said she's too tired to chat. I said, does it mean aliens will be more tired than us, or do they get more sleep? I got no answer. <laughs> I love it when it Suzanne does it. She never indulges no, you. No, it does scares she? her. Anything with ghosts and UFOs, she sort of... It doesn't scare her, it, her. Does it bores her. her. No, it freaks her out. <laughs> <laughs> <It> scares her. <laughs> <laughs> okay.